I know I'm gonna get a ton of slack for this video, but today I wanna talk about everything you need to know about North Olmsted, Ohio. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Living in Cleveland. I'm Patty, Patty sells CLE. I make videos about all things Northeast Ohio, Northwest Ohio, and even down South. You know the drill. If you don't wanna miss any of my videos, hit that subscribe, hit the like, leave me, leave me some nice comments, okay? This is gonna be a tough video. Uh, okay, North Olmsted. Um, not a very popular suburb. Uh, I lived in North Olmsted for 15 years, raised my kids there. Uh, my favorite restaurant, Fatheads, which you're going to see up here, is in North Olmsted. There's a pretty nice shopping mall. Um, <clears throat> lots of shopping to do. It's right by the Metro Parks. It's 20 minutes from downtown. Um, I have a map up here. Um, it gets a bad rap. Nobody wants to live in North Olmsted, although 33,000 people do live in North Olmsted. Um, my kids all grew up there. They went to St. Brendan's. They went to North Olmsted Middle School, North Olmsted High School, all over this place. Um, I have very fond memories, you know, of my time there. So let's just talk about it. Okay. North Olmsted. It's right off of Lorraine Road. Um, and like Columbia, just west of, if you're going down the rain, you're going to go through Cleveland to Fairview Park to North Olmsted. And we also border Westlake. It also borders North Ridgeville, which is right when you get into Lorain County. And it also borders the Metro Park. So it's easy. There's like five different ways to get down to the Metro Parks from North Olmsted. It's also about two minutes away from Hopkins Airport. And... One thing when I, I just did Olmsted Falls and we're also on the border of Olmsted Falls. Um, and I did not mention when I did the Olmsted Falls video because that's also right next to the airport. Although I think North Olmsted is closer, but the way the planes come in, you don't get any of that air traffic like you do in West Park, which is Rocky River Drive that takes you right into the airport. And one of the flight paths is Olmsted Falls. Um, but in North Olmsted, you have the benefit of being so close to the airport, but you don't have to worry about the sound. So that's a good thing. Um, okay, let's talk about housing. And this is why I think people don't want to move to North Olmsted. North Olmsted was started in like the 60s, 70s. So when I think of North Olmsted, I think of split levels, um, very 19s. I had a split level. You're going to see a video of it up here. Um, mine wasn't like a typical, mine was a colonial split. Um, I actually kind of liked having a split because you'd go either up, you'd go down. There was a room for everyone. The house was not that big, but we had a basement, finished basement. We had a family room. We had a living room. And then you go upstairs, we had the bedrooms. I just feel like it's a sleepy community. It's, everybody was nice, middle class. Taxes are not that high. I know I was looking at my last time I did a North Homestead video. It's been almost two years, I think. And people are like, those taxes, they're so high. They're really not. They're under 3%. They're right smack dab in the middle. Um, one thing I do like about North Homestead, as we're talking about taxes, North Homestead uh, city tax, I was a Cleveland school teacher almost the entire time I lived in North Homestead, and I had to pay, pay Cleveland taxes, Cleveland city income taxes, but North Homestead gave you 100% credit. So I never had to worry about paying North Olmsted taxes because they gave you a credit. Where I live now, <clears throat> nope, sorry. Uh, my kids that live in Lakewood, they get a very little credit. Um, so that is one big positive about living in North Olmsted. You, as long as you're paying city taxes where you work, you don't have to worry about paying North Olmsted city taxes. Um, so there's that. Uh, okay, let's talk about rec centers. People want to, it's 33,000 people live there, lots of kids. Um, I'm going to get to the schools in a minute. One thing I do not like is their rec center. And it's a shame because they have um, an outdoor pool. They have a, a ice skating rink. Um, but they just, you can go in there and work out, but it's not like going to the Westlake rec where it's just like water slides and all that. Like every other suburb around has this beautiful outdoor park. North Olmsted does not have they do have, and I would go to the pool, I'd take the kids, it's just a pool. My kids, when they were in high school, my oldest, she was a camp counselor. Um, so they do have a rec center. Oh, middle school, every Friday, we would drop the kids off for Friday night ice skating. I'm not a big fan of the rec center compared to other suburbs. Okay, everybody wants to know about schools. The schools get a C. 
Um, they got a D in achievement. I'll have, I'll post it up here. Um, yeah, they, the schools need to do some work. Um, they have a beautiful campus though. Um, a few years ago, and I was still living there. Gosh, been almost eight, nine years. I actually took a day off work and I took the kids. They had the day off too. And we walked door to door, handing out flyers to pass the school levy because that middle school was in such bad shape. My, my, third daughter, her locker, it had like as best as she had a white North face, like furry coat. And her locker was like leaking, like sludge, like ruined her coat. It was so bad. They had to close down a wing. It was, you couldn't even go in it. So now, and I have a nice video of the school campus. It's beautiful. This, and it's the high school and the middle school. I think the middle school's in the back, high school's in the front, I think, I'm not sure. Um, and it opened when Katie, who's now a senior in college, it opened when she was a senior in high school. And the whole reason she didn't go to North Olmsted High School, well, two reasons. One was because they were gonna be in trailers for almost four years. In fact, my son was in the middle school and he was in a trailer and it was awful. Like he was so sick all the time. But my daughter, Katie, she went for volleyball. She went to St. Joe's Academy because they have a, such a great um, volleyball program and plus she didn't want to be in a trailer but her boyfriend Darren he did and it opened up their senior year and it is it's a beautiful campus beautiful football field beautiful soccer fields it's beautiful um the academics you know every video I do I talk about schools and it's tough um it is a C in fact my daughter Erin her friend Sean they all graduate from North Olmsted High. I thought it was great. My kids are all college graduates. Um, they took AP classes there. Uh, but Aaron's friend, Sean, he works there now as a teacher. And I was just talking to him. And he did not have much good things to say about the schools because they did not pass another levy. So they don't have school monitors. There's kids everywhere. Oh, my God. I don't know if I have it on video, but we were driving by. I don't know if we're going to be able to see it. Like, And they're in school this week. And there were kids, like, they were having a bocce match. So they were actually, like, with gloves on, boxing and just craziness. But, um, and I also told Sean, I'm like, it's different when you're a student versus when you're a teacher. Because you see a completely different thing. And he's like, oh, no, it's bad. Trust me. Um, but that being said, C's not terrible. Um, I did Sandusky last week, which was rated by USA Today, the number one coastal small town. I think Sandusky school's got a D, right? So, uh, C's average, you know, you get what you get, you, you get what you put in. Um, I don't really have a lot more to say about that. <laughs> so, um, another thing, North Olmsted's, I just mentioned the mall. Uh, so there's tons of shopping and North Olmsted's almost become like the auto, like they call it the North Olmsted Auto Mile. So that's where you go to buy your cars. If you want a Beamer, go there. If you need a Mercedes, there's a Mercedes dealership. There's everything, Toyota, Volkswagen. I don't know if there's a Ford. Uh, Chrysler, that's it. It's all down the rain road. Every car um, dealership you could think of. So North Olmsted's really known for that. And the shopping mall, great Northern shopping mall, which in a dying uh, industry of shopping malls. It's really stayed, st stayed a mall, a successful mall, although the movie theater just closed, which was really sad because although all kinds of movie theaters are closing because of the pandemic. Um, but it was nice to have a shopping mall right there. Went to it all the time. So shopping, it's really well known for <sighs> the Metro parks. Um, yeah, I think it's it's a really convenient location. Okay, so I was talking about houses, split levels. You got a lot of colonials. Um, there's only nine houses for sale today. Of course, that's a problem everywhere um, across the country. There's just not a lot of inventory. Um, and the average home price is going to be right around $220,000. Um, there's one for sale right now. It's $399. Um, there's a golf course, um, Canterbury Woods it's called. And it's on a golf course, which is pretty nice. It's like a condo area. You got your HOAs, but they're really, really nice right off 480. Um, <clears throat> there's a very, there's a bunch of developments. I think I went through Sandy Ridge, 
Breton Ridge is over by Stearns and they always say, oh, the prestigious Breton Ridge. And back in the day, it was the number one. Like everybody wanted to live in Breton Ridge. I have several friends that live in there. Um, a lot of the developments have a community pool, uh, <clears throat> which is nice. Where I lived, I did not live in a development. I just lived on a street. I lived closer. I was afraid because I grew up in Cleveland. I was afraid to go too far west. Like, I'm like I can't go any further than Columbia. And my house was right between Clegg and Columbia. So I'm not, I'm like right behind St. Brendan's. Just a little neighborhood, loved it. Uh, but no development, no pool. Uh, but we had a pool in the backyard. So, <clears throat> so right around $200,000. It just depends. And houses are fine. And this is why I decided to do this video. Because houses are selling so quickly. If it's a nice house and it's been redone. Um, I know we redid our house. We, we, we tore out. If there was wood, we tore out the doors, we tore out, we put all new baseboards, trim around the doors, tore out the whole kitchen, the bathrooms. We had the wood floors refinished. I mean, we did from top to bottom, new roof, new siding, everything we did. So if you have a really nice house that's been redone, that house, North Olmstead, is, it's it's selling like hotcakes, which is why I wanted to do this video because it might be something if you're looking in the Cleveland area and you're so like, I need Avon, I need Avon, and or I want Westlake, I can't get it. I think you maybe should consider looking in the North Olmsted area, especially if you want to stay in Cuyahoga County. Um, it, it's an, it's a nice location, the shopping. I mean, every restaurant. I also want to give out a shout out to Fatheads, and of course we had to stop their wings. Oh my God, it's like both parts of the wing, and then they smoke them, and then they just grill them, so they're healthy. <laughs> we get that in their side cell with their homemade honey mustard. Oh my God, it's so good. It's like pure heaven. Um, love that place. Um, so honestly, I think uh, if you're moving to the Cleveland area and you're having a frustrating time, like Parma is also hot, and I've done a couple of Parma videos. My teammate. She wrote an offer on a house in Parma. And like Parma, I always think of little teeny bungalows, like starter homes. 40 offers were written on this little two-bedroom house in Parma. Can you believe it? Unbelievable. Um, so, yeah, I if you're interested in the Cleveland area, I urge you to give me a call. My info's down there. Um, and, and give North Olmsted, give it, give it a thought and, and take a look. Um, I'm mean, going to post plenty of videos of the neighborhoods. Um, it was kind of a sunny, kind of a cloudy day. It's April. It's already raining now. We're supposed to have like maybe a hurricane today. Like there's wind. It's like 75 today. But then there's huge st storms coming through in like gale force wind. So we'll see. But um, thanks for watching. Like I said, all my info's down below. And I will see you next time.